Hey, Zack, where are you headed? Hi Misha, I'm on my way to the library. I need peer-reviewed or refereed sources for an assignment. Cool. But those are the same thing. Really? Now I'm confused. I don't understand peer review or why I need it. What is peer review anyway? It's how publishers make sure that new articles are high quality and add to the body of knowledge in a discipline. How does it work? It varies across disciplines, but the basics are the same for most fields. Want to tell me about the basics? No problem. The first thing to know about peer review is that authors who want to publish in academic or scholarly journals have to submit their papers for consideration. Yeah, but don't all authors have to do that? Even for regular magazines. Sort of. But once the paper is submitted to a scholarly journal, it goes through peer review by the author's colleagues. Regular magazines like Time and People have editors, but no peer review requirements. Hmm. So who are these peer reviewers? They run the researchers who are experts in their fields. For example, peer reviewers for the Journal of Marine Biology are marine biologists. When an article is submitted, it is reviewed by experts in the same topic as the new article. How many peer reviewers look at each paper? It depends on the journal, but usually more than two. And what are the reviewers looking for? Things like spelling and grammar? They make sure that the article is a good fit for the journal, it is well written, and the data and ideas are clear and accurate. They also make sure that the paper adds something new to the discipline. What if the paper doesn't do all of those things? The peer reviewers will suggest that it not be accepted, or they will recommend that it be revised. Wow. So the publication process might take several months. Right. But without peer review, bad data could get out there. Misinforming other researchers work. One more thing. Journal editors ask researchers to review manuscripts on a volunteer basis. It's part of professors' service to their fields. I never knew that. How do journals keep professors from giving their friends better reviews than other people? Good question. One of the goals of peer review is to reduce bias, so the review process is blind. Huh? The reviewers often don't know whose papers they are reviewing, and authors usually don't know who reviews their papers. That makes sense. And you say that the process is different depending on the field of research? Yes. In many of the sciences, the research involves experiments, lab work, or field work. This generates data sets. Reviewing the data sets is an important part of peer review in those fields. If the data is collected or recorded incorrectly, researchers who use the results as a basis for their own work will have problems. Seriously? And in the social sciences, like psychology, research can involve surveys or focus groups. Studies using human subjects must follow specific regulations. The types of questions are important too. Qualified peer reviewers look at all of those pieces before publication. So, peer reviewed articles are better because so many people are looking at so many pieces? Yes, exactly. But what if a study turns out to be false or inaccurate later? If that happens, the journal publishes a retraction saying that the article has particular problems and should be used with caution. Well, knowing all of this makes me feel better. I'm glad. So, think you're ready to start looking for peer-reviewed sources? I think so. Great. You're on the right track. Our librarians can tell you exactly where to look for peer-reviewed articles, and you can even get help online. For now, go to the library. Okay, Misha. And thanks for everything. Good luck with your paper, Jack.